guys how are you welcome back to the channel welcome to 2019 this is our first video of the year i hope that your year is going on good i hope that i mean 2019 is here and that you are excited about it you know the good thing about the new year is that when it comes upon us it actually um allows us to reset allows us to look back at the previous year like what could we have done better and also really be proud of our accomplishments you know in the previous year and be more determined to do even better in the new year so i really wish you a happy new year and i i really hope and pray that 2019 will be the best year yet you know for each and every one of us so i thought you know we could start the year with a really interesting reminder it is not like one of those reminders that is like you know just do it go out and do it but it's very practical and it involves um something that we all go through on our success journey so imagine the people that you know that are doing really well that you respect them and you respect their accomplishments whether it's the ceo of some company that you know you, you're familiar with or it's the the owner of the business down the street um that you 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 go by there and get um stuff that you need or whether it's your boss at work or it's an athlete that you love what uh, to love watching them on tv or whether it's just a parent at home, you know, it could be your mom, your dad, and you just admire their work ethic and you admire their achievements and how they are able to, you know, just get stuff done um, on a daily basis, on a monthly basis, year after year. So, I mean, there are those aspects of life that we, that really inspire us when we look at people. We admire those aspects of life. But then the reality is, is that even in those people that we admire, there are times when they they, 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 they they actually encounter roadblocks where they get to a point where things are just not moving and um, they have to figure out how to get things to move. So for most of us that are looking, if you're looking at that person from the outside, you may really not be familiar of those times that they go through that are times when they really don't know what to do. You know, so you yourself as um, a go-getter a mover and, and shaker a champion a winner that person that goes up goes out every day and really works hard and and, and uh, in doing what you do you also get to those points where you 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 reach a stage where you wonder like oh my god i'm doing all of this but you know what do i do now nothing seems to be working out um what do i do like you know what do i do what do i do about to tear your hair out um you know so the one thing that i wanted to remind you about which as this year proceeds you know most of us are going to get to that point where we feel like things are like what do we do so i just wanted to remind you that what whatever crossroads you come to in life whether they are regardless of how bad they are whether it has to do with your professional work or with your personal relationships whatever crossroads you come to always remember that you have options okay so as that champion as that winner as that go-getter always remember that you have options and that gives you hope because you never want to get to the point in life where you lose hope once you lose hope you've pretty much lost everything okay so i was reading about this topic and it i, I came across this article it was by dr um dr edward shorter he's a professor a professor and social historian of medicine at the university of toronto in canada and he said if you feel hopeless it's not because there is no hope at all in your life it is because you feel there is no hope okay so if you feel hopeless it's not because there is no hope but because you feel there is no hope so remember that the winners and the champions and those people that you look up to and that you admire they are good at 
reminding themselves or making the or, make, or making sure that they do not lose hope okay so here are a few quotes about hope to inspire you and hopefully you would keep you would remember these words um, as you go through the year the first um, quote that I'd like to share with you is hope is important because it can make the present moment less difficult to bear if we believe that tomorrow will be better we can bear any hardship today and that's by the Vietnamese spiritual guru Thich Nhat Hanh. The next quote is, walk on with hope in your heart and you'll never walk alone. That's by the Indian public figure Shah Ru Khan. Then the next uh, quote is by our very own Dr. King, um, Dr. Martin Luther King. Carve a tunnel of hope through the dark mountain of disappointment. The next quote is, I find hope in the darkest of days and focus, in, and focus in the brightest. I do not judge the universe. I love that. I find hope in the darkest of days and focus in the brightest. I do not judge the universe. Hope is being able to see that there is light despite all the darkness and that's by the South African cleric Desmond Tutu. Hope never abandons you, you abandon it. That's by George Wayne Berg. When you have lost hope, you have lost everything and when you think all is lost, when all is dire and bleak, there is always hope. And that's by Tekos Lore. So that was my reminder for today. I hope that it makes sense. I hope that um, it's helpful in 2019 as you go for it and you just continue living your best life. And of course, I need you to remember that I am your number one fan. I believe in you. I believe in what you're doing and I trust that your best years are really still ahead of you. So thank you for tuning in today. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Be sure to share the videos. Be sure to leave a comment and I'll see you again next time. So have a good day. Bye.